Hey guys, today I'll be talking about my Gacha Club mini movie, An Independent Girl, of answering some of the questions, and which will include what's what inspired you to do this story? How did you think of this story? How did you think of those character designs? Let's start with the inspiration of the story. Well, I was inspired by a gacha tuber who is gone who is gone right now because of her classmates of some issues with her school so that's why she uh, she quit it so you cannot find her channel anymore but probably uh, many of you mini movie creators know her definitely because she's quite popular and I watch her videos so how did I think of this story well her videos are mostly about someone uh, bullying someone and I I saw a mini movie which is my perfect sister it's one of the I really like that story it's about the one of the girl a girl I forgot what's the name actually a girl like she's ignored by her parents because of her perfect sister so that's why and I and I was quite inspired by this story though because you know and I just create something similar like I create someone bullying someone and <laughs> That's quite similar, but ah, and I created these characters, and also Maverick's parents. Uh, it's just Maverick's parents are just randomly designed because I saw her videos that there are some parents of uh, of that girl, and that's cool. That's right. You guys might have been wondering another question too. Why did you make a romantic story? <laughs> okay, let me explain. I quite like romantic stories actually. It was because of Cupcake Girl's video. She made some uh, romantic stories, but uh, I mm, do. I do you think doing this? This is quite romantic actually because I think that is quite normal of this one because I didn't do any stuff for more just just I I originally added the the last part of this mini movie which I now deleted it because I was afraid of my classmate discovering that stupid thing because my classmates are always you know they don't like love stuff they would be like what the hell? Why are you doing these? And I was, I would be like, I would be like so embarrassed, <laughs> and I was afraid of that. So, the second question is, how do you think of the character designs? <laughs> okay. So, first of all, let's talk about our main character, which is Arabella. Actually, it is Edge who made me to create Arabella. You guys might be wondering why. Uh, yeah, because I really like Edge. She is. She's why Arabella existed. I created Arabella because of Edge. So you might have noticed her outfit is quite similar to to Edge's, and. Uh, and also those accessories and makeup. The hair is just randomly choose some kind of tomboy hair. <laughs> okay, I wish you guys forgive me. Okay. Uh, so, uh, she's also quite different actually from much because she is in love with Mora. And I did not in love with anybody, so actually I like romantic, that's why I created this one. 
And what about the name you might uh, you guys might ask? So as I search online, well I know well no Edge. I found out that Edge German name is Rubella. That's why I took out the Bella part <laughs> and searched the online name and I named her Arabella. <laughs> That's quite a funny thing, right? <laughs> yeah. But I I think I I think this name is kind of okay. I think so. Uh and so let's I think I'm done with Okay. And and Arabella is Plasta. Uh like the small one right on her right eye there. Uh, why do I create this one? Because I want something more special. Not, I'm not gonna make like exactly the same like edge. Would be very, which would be very very boring if I do that. So that's why I added little plaster on, on the right side uh, to make her a little bit special. Okay. So as for, okay, let me talk about Moira next. Uh, okay. Uh, Murray. So the design is actually just quite independent because I I just want some independent person like you know uh, Arabella's personality is independent. So probably. Her boyfriend is probably gonna kind of be similar, so I created Maverick like this. I think for Maverick's design, I made a huge mistake. I think I made him really, really bad. Uh, I hope you guys don't think that way because I spent so much time doing this. Okay, so well, why do I think his design is bad? First of all, is because of his hair is too simple. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, because I am not good at creating male OCs. For me, I I see you guys are really creative at create uh, creating male OCs, which are really really wonder talent guys. So. Uh, <laughs> well, as for his outfit, I just actually actually is really really simple. Not very much, though. I think I think the sleeves are not good actually. So, as for, and I did make a mistake in here. You see, I forgot to add her shadow back. Oh my god, it's just really bad. <laughs> I hate mis making mistakes. So, Murray, I think the eyes are bad too. I shouldn't have chosen that eye. No, <laughs> no. Why did I? Why did I do such a thing? Probably because I'm not good at using Gusha Claw, maybe. But I've used that for like since since the first video I've posted about Gacha. That time I was on a I was on a holiday. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and next up, let's talk about Bella's design. I actually created Bella as a kind personality. Like, th there will be some side characters, not only the main character, or, or it will be really, really boring. And. And how did I create her colors? Well, probably, uh, it's just that girls are always very kind. Some girls, uh, and I just created with those colors, which is yellow, pink, red. Those colors, I think they're really, uh, you know, really girly, should I say this. So that's why I created for Bella and... I want to create her kind of cute, uh, 
cute, but actually I don't really like Bella's design that much too. As, uh, I just think I don't like that much, okay? <laughs> so, let's go to Ella. Ella's design is... Mm, I kind of put it too. I just want to make some... Because I want to tell you guys... I, I want to say that uh, Ella's design is kind of a really fashion girl. And you might... Like, you, you know that she is quite pretty yeah and I made her like that because because I want to tell you guys that not only looking at the looks of the character can determine who she really is he or she really is so I created her I saw a villain at the first but I want to change her that's why I want to give her another chance like I don't know why, just I don't want this villain to stay forever. I think she's actually nice. That's why I created her to become a good guy at last. And it's like, it's really kind of Ella to change her, uh, change herself at last. So I kind of like Ella too, but uh, among these characters, I I don't know if Ella is my least favorite character, but maybe I said maybe I don't know, uh, because I usually put some of them of my favorites as the first, and the most stupid thing is I didn't make the height. You might notice that I I didn't make the height all the time because I don't know I don't know why I don't want to make it just I'm just lazy and for this scenes for the scenes right on the screen now how did I think of it and I just want Ella to be some really really evil time to throw more into the ocean well uh, I just want to make some moving stories then this is why I created her like this to save Murray because because I don't want ghosts to be always the ones being saved that would, that would be really really boring and that's why and uh, I I actually was planning to create a more moving story than this one so that's why I created it the independent girl to as Arabella so for the let's see ah uh, I created Ella quite special that her eyeballs uh, are quite a different color as I really want that. And why did I create Bella's hair to be black and yellow? Originally, I don't think I'm gonna create black and yellow, but I just want to create quite a little special. Should I say a little special? So that's why I uh, created her with black and yellow because I quite like the yellow color as the hair. Well, why did I make Arabella in love? Because I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, let's move on to the Independent Girl 2, which is uh, the internet world. And it will be like... Like I, I made at the beginning. These are just stupid things. And how did I think of the story plot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> First of all, I think of a story plot by watching uh, I should should I say cartoon? Yeah, I watch a cartoon of something that's about robots humans robots turn into humans like that is the villain turning turning 
robots into humans. That was why it inspired me to do an independent group too. It's called the Internet World. But for that cartoon, it's not about internet anything. It's just about like car, like science stuff. Should I say? I don't know. Like information and technology. Uh, I should say that. So, uh, well, I I started with this, with they get into the internet world. Well, actually, I that cartoon didn't, didn't talk about this. Well, uh, the second question is, why did I make Arabella to be a robot? First of all. Before this movie, you guys probably think that, oh, she is a human, like that. But no, she was a robot. Why did I do that for her? It's because, you know, it's about Ash again. <laughs> Ash is... Uh, Ash is created by Cursor. And she doesn't have a family. <laughs> Maybe Krista is kind of her mom, but no, I don't think that way. So, so that's why she doesn't have parents. Then I created, and I think Arabella be like, hmm, I don't want Arabella to have parents. Then I should make her in a different way. Then that's why I think of idea. Robots can have parents, right? They are created by electricity and like information technology that's why i created her as a robot and i really love these kind of stuff like i really love these kind of uh types of movies like uh robots technology science something like that so i might remake this one because i really like this story it's been really well for me i think so, okay, let's say about how do I make those outfits for the characters, like their new outfits in this mini movie. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's talk about Arabella. Arabella is just her robot costume. I want her to be like some evil, evil person. That's why I created her with those clothes like I made her sleeves kind of evil and and her and her uh, and her bracelet <laughs> yeah with those <laughs> yeah because I really like that bracelet well it's actually mm, quite a lot of time when I created Arabella as the robot outfit I really spend a lot of time as her hair. I, I I want to make some kind of symbols like robot stuff, but you know, Gotcha Club doesn't have much of that. That's why I only created the color of the of the robot and like that to put on her on her face and. I, I just put it on her hair, I think, yeah, and, and, and then, uh, let's start with, like, this costume, like, I give her a bling, uh, because Ash has a bling, yeah, easy, easy explanation, so, and her earrings are still the same, just the moon earrings. And Mavari, really simple. I just only changed the clothes, didn't change the color at all. At all, I'm so lazy. And I give him a blank with a similar dash, same like this. And Bella, for she's really kind. So I give her a shoe, a heart shaped shoe, like this. So I didn't uh, change a lot of colors, as I really, really think pink, red, yellow are the girls. So I changed her outfit to have kind of this, this is not a hoodie I think, yeah, just a jacket 
on top that is sipped already uh, and I'd be like adding, adding a earring of heart shape because of her kindness and for Ella I think Ella for the, her costume I just give her I just still give her those colors but for the you know the that that magic one thing that's called I don't know I don't know what's the name of it I didn't think of a name I just give her something like like you know something like uh to control s magic stuff actually I think I did this movie for like two to three days and I think I actually I I might I, and I think I actually it must be more than more than 15 minutes it must be 30 minutes this movie but look at the result it's not even 20 minutes it's really really short it's just a bit short a bit longer than the than the first one I'd be like what the hell I created for like many many screenshots it's more than 300 screenshot guys I want to tell you about this you guys might have been really really sure and I even work I even work on it when I was going outside for for uh, for going outside to a restaurant after eating my meals I'm still doing those when I'm eating my meal you guys be like oh my god you guys you guys must have been like oh my god you you really did that when you were eating and I will and I will be telling you that yes I'm doing it when I was outside the restaurant too <laughs> okay and and the result is really really terrible I thought I created it for for so long but no it's really short short I and I was crying I was like why do you do that to me God why why no why do you do that I don't want this uh, oh my god why do you do that I didn't I didn't expect for some of the screenshots to be to be less than three seconds so that's why I only I made more than 300 screenshots and I'd be like no why would you do this to me why <laughs> I don't want to create mini movies anymore I don't want to waste my time outside when I was eating no <laughs> I am not good at doing this stuff you guys are actually quite fast like some of the gadget creators they create stuff quite fast while well, I'm just a slow poke being so slow so at this one this point how did I create a uh, like this villain, Jasmisha. Actually, the name I found it online too. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really hard to think of a name. Yeah. Well, originally I was planned to make a boy, uh, for, for, uh, for this villain, but no, I created a girl. And you'll probably know the reason already, because I'm bad at making girls. And so sad because you know always boys are good at those tunnelly stuff. Uh, that's why. But I created a girl, and it was really annoying that I have to add glasses for her because adding glasses will make it look bad, and I kind of add too much stuff for Jamisha. And thinking of 
of her design is kind of hard to. I, I'm so sad that I make blue for her other color right there. And I think I should have changed this. For the logo on her shirt, I think it's the worst thing that ever happened. Choosing the glasses is all, is is really annoying too. Because I choose for hours and I still haven't found a good one. So I have no choice but to choose randomly. So as her braids left, uh, villains always wear those, yeah. For the for the wings of those uh, of the sorts, just I just choose it randomly. I just want to have one side different, the other side not like that. Why did it create her hair to be covering her eye? Uh, it's because I kind of think that's good. Just like Rosalina. Yep. Well, thinking of the backstory, how did I think of the backstory? Well, uh, I, I have to think that for quite a while. It's kind of a little bit hard. And it's kind of a bit annoying that I have to draw those, uh, those, uh, how did it? Colors, those rows to to uh to to hide Arabella in her precision. And I kinda of make Arabella to be poor because yeah, I forgot to add the row here. And uh because I want I like making Angus for my favorite characters. I know, I know, I know, it's really, really sad, but I don't know why do I like it, in a way, for some of my favorite characters. I want to make some movie stuff. Moving stuff. That's why I created this. And for Mavari. This is just the imagining one that he sees her inside like he reads her mind maybe I should call and I would I really really like these characters I actually quite like it but for Maverick's design it's forever a, a really really sad thing that I ever have to say because I think the design is the worst thing that I haven't improved now I'm not good at anything. Mm hmm And mm, and I I made Bella in the in the middle of that. I made her quite a little poor because I don't want to always make like the same characters to be poor as you guys will be really really bored or maybe you guys like the other characters too, so that's why. And there, I forgot to change their outfits when they're out of here. So I, I kind of created Arabella that if you, if I have another other stories to tell, I how to create more better ones. Like I, 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 I I'm not assuming that I'll create a mini movie free, but I, I might make that actually. Because I really love those characters and I want to make something or maybe make a series. Well, now I'm making the TMR series and I'm still using Arabella because I like her. So I don't want the other characters to be lost too because they are really, really my hard work after all. So I just keep on creating them. And, uh, let me think. Do I have something more to say? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, let me talk about the TMR process for now. <sighs> I haven't even done 3% of the series. Yeah, 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 3%, you guys are right, you haven't heard me wrong. I haven't even done 3%. I have only done the, the voices. And 
kind of a few animations only. That's what I do. Um, I still haven't done all of them. I am really, really stupid. And I didn't even, haven't even started to add it into, into a video editor. Like, after it's a live 2D, I have to, I have to get, get the characters into, into together, you know, together in a place to make a complete video, but I haven't even found the software of that, because some of them are paid, well, I use live 2D for free, because my mom won't let me, <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not really, really, old and not really really big already. I am just a teenager only. I'm not even 15. That's why I can do things on my own. And I... You guys might have wondering. Oh my gosh. You sound kind of big. Nah. I wish I'm old too. And I, I mean I'm older. So I can be like... I can be like you guys. I, I just I just want to be older and I can just finish my studies earlier well the reason why I made TMR to be uh, to be to be a uh, to be a story is because of our villa her she is actually a uh, about 20 years old and that's why she finished university and it's not in school anymore so that's why i created arabella to write the story and i was inspired by the music freaks of course because it's same like music i really love music that's why i do this series but after i i make this music series then i might might make something more special and something quite similar to the heroes episodes as you guys some of you guys want heroes episode to be animating and uh, some of my voice actors of the heroes episodes want to voice some of you didn't answer so I don't know if you want or not but for the ones that don't want I'm I kind I will try to use AI voice for them, and I think it will be mm, kind of a bit bad if I use AI voice. But uh, that's all I think I have because I don't have anything to say for it. For, okay, so uh, I think that's all I have to say for today. And thanks for watching this video. Hope I can create more content for you guys in the future that you like. And okay. And goodbye.